A few weeks ago, I received a new monitor from LG, and to be honest, it's nothing like any other monitor I've seen or used before. It's a 28 inch vertical monitor with a 16 by 8 aspect ratio. I think this is the ultimate monitor for programmers and software engineers, but also just creative people who like to be productive. So in today's video, I'm going to review the LG Dual Up and break down why I think that this monitor is a great addition to my desk setup as a software engineer and tech content creator. Inside the box, there was a lot of accessories which I loved. We've got a USB-C cable, a USB-B cable, an HDMI cable, and that all-important power supply. Setting up the Dual Up was a bit of a challenge because of how thin my desk from IKEA is. The monitor stand is solid and heavy, which makes the setup of the Dual Up sturdy with no room of falling. Underneath all the cables and desk stand, I found the Dual Up display, which was a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Now, I have to be honest, the LG Dual Up is very nice to look at with a sleek and modern design. I did place a piece of cardboard in between the base and my desk to give my desk some thickness. Otherwise, it probably would not have worked due to the thinness of my IKEA desk. Now the installation was super easy, especially because the monitor holder doesn't require you to have any screws that you need to tighten into the back of your monitor. It just clips into the LG Dual Up and you are good to go. Now there is a lot of movement with the monitor arm. You can change the height, tilt it, swivel it side to side, and even pivot it. Now initially I was a little bit confused how I would actually use the double monitor with my MacBook Pro. Then thankfully due to the ports on the MacBook Pro, I plugged in the HDMI port into my laptop for the dual up. And then I'm using my USB-C port for my main LG display. Now the best use case for the Dual Up is using it as a second monitor to complement your main display. I use a Dual Up with my LG 4K Ergo monitor. My use case for the LG Dual Up is programming and it's my go-to screen for having my VS Code open and active. And due to the vertical view, you can see your whole IDE and see many lines of code, which is handy as you won't need to scroll around much. For programming and coding with this monitor, it just doesn't get any better for software engineers. You can even split up the LG Dual Up into two screens so you can have your Stack Overflow browser at the top and then your VS Code underneath. Now the mixing combos are endless and there are so many different ways that you can use the LG Dual Up. Then you can use the main monitor to see your web app or even make API requests. For web engineers, the LG Dual Up makes it super productive to debug your apps in the browser. And when you go into developer tools on Chrome, you are presented with the tools that you need in a big window on your LG Dual Up. And a nano IPS display makes it so clear and crisp. Now, typically on a normal monitor or laptop, the developer tools will pop up on the side of the display, which makes it a bit difficult to see and debug your app. Using the LG Dual Up, I configured the developer tools to show at the bottom of the screen, which feels like you have a second display open purely for debugging your web app. Now, talking about programming, if you are a beginner or someone who wants to become a software engineer with no coding background or experience, I have created and launched my ebook on how to get started and become a software engineer for beginners. This is the all in one guide where I share everything that I know about the industry secrets, hacks, and ways to learn to code faster and land your dream job as a software engineer. The first 20 people that get the ebook from www.techprep.co will receive a free 30 minute one to one call with me, helping you make a plan to become a software engineer. Let me just show you how flexible this LG Dual Up actually is. As you've seen in the video, the LG Dual Up moves around, pivots, swivels, and you can turn it around and make it into a landscape monitor. Now, as you can see from behind the monitor, we've got all this cable management. To be fair, my cable management is atrocious, but I'm gonna fix it right now. One of my favorite things, now one of my favorite things about this LG Dual Up is the monitor stand. When you're, when you're not actually moving it, it's very sturdy. 
Now you can swivel it up and down, you can move it side to side, it's just super flexible. Now the issue that we have with the cable management is that the cables aren't being wired from this side of the monitor. They're actually being pushed to the other side, meaning it's very difficult to use the cable management in the stand. And there's just no need because the cables aren't being fed through the monitor stand. Something that I do a lot is watch YouTube videos. So we're going to compare the dual up with my 4K ergonomics monitor and see what the experience is like watching YouTube videos on a vertical monitor. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but let's see. So this is the YouTube landing page. As you can see, we're getting so many different videos on our homepage on YouTube. Whereas typically, you wouldn't get to see this many videos, but because our monitor is vertical, we're seeing a lot. Now let's compare it with the landscape. Now we've got the ergonomics on the left, vertical on the right, and as you can see, we get so many more videos with the vertical dual-up monitor. Let me just show you some close-ups. So, so we get five on the top, five on the bottom, and then we get a lot of shorts as well. And then on the vertical, we are getting way more videos. So we've got five there, five there, all the shorts as well. Then we get 10 more and then the shorts again. Actually, no, that's a normal. But as you can see, way more videos on the vertical monitor. Now let me know in the comments, which look do you prefer? The vertical look on YouTube or the main look that most people experience when they hit youtube.com? Okay, now let's actually play a YouTube video. Okay, so as we can see, with the vertical monitor, we get the video screen, but also we get to see a lot of comments underneath. Now, if we make the screen full size, this is what it looks like. So that's what we get when the screen is full size. The video quality is pretty good, to be honest, but the black bars around it are slightly annoying. Of course, with the normal monitor, the 4K ergonomics on the left, we get to see a full size screen, which makes sense because that's what the monitor is built for. Whereas with the vertical, you got the black bars. And to be honest, I don't like the black bars, but also I don't really watch YouTube videos on the vertical. It would be on the main screen on the left. But yeah, I just wanna say a big shout out to LG for sending through the LG vertical monitor. It's gonna be a key part of my setup. You can also see the glare coming in from the windows, which makes it hard to see from that side. But from this angle, it looks pretty good. Now let me know in the comments, do you prefer the vertical monitor or the main 4K monitor? Also, comment down below if you prefer a vlog style tech review like this one, or like the cinematics, more dramatic, video more scripted, whereas this is a lot more natural. Now let me know in the comments, maybe we do a bit of both and mix it up on the channel, but as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.